Buenos días. Good morning, dear hearts. Gracias. So good afternoon. I'm thinking Africa. We are in the afternoon and in America we are in the morning so good morning good afternoon and good night for australia thank you so many blessings to all of you i hope you had a great week and that you are ready just you know um, I have done a great update in my computer and um, I feel something um, is slow is slowly today but I hope everything is gonna be all right but if something happens with my connection, I just go to open again a new um, a new uh, live. You know? So we you go to my profile if something happen, and there I go to restart a new live. But in this moment, everything works perfectly. But I think and feel my computer a little slow in this moment. So, Buenos Dias, Mexico. So, 3 p.m. here, and I hear the bells of the ascension saying to us it is the time to restart to this service to the light so let's go <clears throat> welcome to the seven sacred weeks vlog 37 in today's service we will perform the alignment with our beloved mighty I am presence. Then we are going to do feel the crease and visualizations. And then we are going to dive into the knowledge of the higher mental body. And as always to start it, let us feel our beloved mighty I am presence within our hearts just visualize your heart as a radiant sun presence and invite the great master within to take command Hold the dominion and govern your outer activity of thought, feelings, words, and deeds. Just say to your beloved, I am presence, I love you. I accept your dominion. And then let us do together the opening blessing. Beloved, mighty, young presence here, there, and everywhere, we love, bless, and thank you forever, forever and beyond. For I am in you, and you are in me. We are one on this journey through eternity. Oh, mighty I am, oh, mighty I am, oh, mighty I am. And now, dear hearts, let us move the attention to that beautiful star above our house. 
and just feel the expansion of its light and visualizing thousands and thousands of light rays descending from that star upon the area where you live. Blessing this place with the light, love, wisdom, happiness, joy, fraternity, harmony, healing of the seven mighty Elohim, seven mighty archangels, and seven mighty Shohans. And I know it's time. Now feel the connection of this great star above your house with the star above the Royal Teton Retreat. Visualize the star there above the rock mountains shining like a thousand suns blessing america canada the americas and the world there we have the center of this activity and the Brotherhood of the Royal Teton Retreat is there. I see the Ascended Masters there, especially our beloved Saint Germain. I see beloved Lanto. May the Great Ones in the Lighting protect us, protect our atmospheres, protect the force field that we build together, which is a beautiful radiant sphere of light around this planet. And may they use this force field to bless the holy planet and I know it's done and it's sustained Almighty oh, Yang, Almighty oh, Yang, Almighty oh, Yang. Let us take our water and uh, do the call for the elixir of life. Beloved, I am present, Saint Germain, Brotherhood of the Royal Teton Retreat, Lords of the Elements and Power and Powers of Light, please charge, charge, and charge this mineral water with whatever substances and virtues we need to restore the beauty, youth, health, vitality, and perfection of the ascended masters in our physical bodies. When we drink this water at the end of our decrease, by the light of God that never fails, I command, I demand, and it's done right now. Almighty oh, I am, Almighty oh, I am, Almighty oh, I am. So let's put the water to be charged during our service. And today we are going to do the alignment. I go to do it in a very fast way because we have our knowledge of the higher mental body and it is a very, yes, complex subject. So to start it, 
this alignment just um, sit with your back straight and um, relax your shoulders your neck and keep a smile yes smile smile to yourself to me to the presence so it's so important to smile because it's really so with our smile we relax the muscles um, in our faces and then the energy can circulate in the hand so I hope you feel good and then move now your attention to your beloved mighty young presence in your electronic body it lies straight above you in line with your head Pour forth your deepest love and gratitude to your presence and say, My beloved I am presence, I send you my deepest love and gratitude. Be within me and let me be in you forever. Let us now align our four lower bodies with our source of light this mighty I am presence in our electronic body. Visualize it descending from your beloved I am presence, a ray of golden liquid light entering through the top of your head through and down into your heart, feeling and expanding it to form a golden sphere of light. Feel the expansion of this light in your heart and the illumination of your breast area. Now, imagine your heart pumping this light up through the same inner channel into your brain. Visualize it is golden liquid flooding all the cells of your brain until your brain structure expands, expands and expands forming another golden sphere of light. Feel the expansion of this light in your brain and the illumination of your head. And when your heart and brain are completely purified and filled with this light, Unite the two golden spheres in one activity of love, wisdom, and power so that the heart and brain become only one, a sun of dazzling light. Now, Feel this sun expanding, expanding, and expanding until it envelops your entire body. Visualizing your body made of pure light substance in the center of the sun blazing millions and millions and millions of light rays into all directions. Feel the sun presence that you are 
can repeat it with me. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. Now, visualize it starting from your heart, a golden ray of pure divine love ascending through the same inner channel, reaching the heart of your beloved higher mental body, your Christ self, that presence that is the bridge between your personality and your electronic body. Flooding your higher mental body with your deepest love and gratitude, feeling and enveloping it until another radiant sun forms, similar to the lower sun and in fact, the source of its light. Now repeat, my beloved higher mental body, I bow before you in perfect obedience and adoration. Show me the way to the Father. Let me see the Father face to face. And that great messenger just opened the gate. And you see your beloved I am presence in your electronic body. And you were in love with it. And another golden ray of pure divine love expands from your heart, ascends through the same inner channel, transcends the higher mental body, and reaches the heart of your beloved I am presence. Feel your love flatten your I am presence and chill another radiant sun forms. Then repeat, my beloved I am presence, descend your light into my human heart and let me be your master presence on earth. I am ready and I am willing. I am willing, I am willing. In this moment of absolute surrender, the lower sun that you are in this human octave completely purified and red and willing begins to rise, rise and rise and is absorbed into the heart of the intermediate sun, your higher mental body. And in this moment, the human becomes divine and you experience the resurrection. Feel it. Then this intermediate sun becomes even more radiant and also rises, rises and rises, being absorbed into the heart of the upper sun, your true home. In this perfect marriage of the three suns, a great explosion of light of course water was three become just one you lose 
the notion of time and space and you feel one with the heart of creation. But from that heart surges a glorious light and you feel in charge of your own ascended master presence. Just feel this ascended master presence that you are in this cosmic level, right here and now. Feel this complete unity with your source of life, light and love. Then visualize from the hands, the heart, the third eye, of the ascended presence that you are, so glorious, majestic, rays of love emanating towards the earth, bathing the planet, its atmosphere and all life within, with the pure divine love of your ascended heart. Just let your love flow to bless this planet, all the nations, the elementals, angels, and human beings. Let your love flow to bless the spirits of nature. Calm them to work in perfect harmony. Just let your love flow throughout the atmosphere of the planet, dissolving all dense substance there, raising the atmosphere into the perfection of the ascended masters by the power of your love, that is the love of the ascended host, that is the love of the presence. And feel a new earth completely enlightened by the power of your love, of our love. Then, when you feel the planet saturated with these blessings, it slowly descend back into your physical body, but now in perfect alignment in unity with your source of light, your I am presence, and hold this feeling. And to finish it, I just want that you contemplate for a few moments your electronic circle of protection, just visualizing the place of the tiller your image there. You can look to it and just visualize your image there. Feel the violet flame blazing and throwing around you. Feel the white light and substance of your tube of light is so sparkling. Feel the brightness of your causal body, the rings of colors around 
the core, which is the electronic body. And feel from that core, rays of light expanding to flood and bless your holy world. And I call to the power and powers of light to hold you within this almighty protection of light so you may live on this planet, fulfill your divine plan, but never more be disturbed by human creation. And I know it's done and it's sustained. Almighty oh, Yam, Almighty oh, Yam, Almighty oh, Yam. And now, dear hearts, we are going to do feel decrease and to start eat as always. We are going to bless America. So before you do the decrease, just visualize it that you are again in your ascended master presence and that we form a beautiful circle of light around the planet. I don't know how many of us are here. I see here 18 viewers, so let's visualize that we are around the planet. And, um, and in this moment, let's say again our blessings to the planet, first to the core of the planet. And then let us direct our blessings in beautiful rays. I love to see golden of wisdom enlightenment, discernment, together with pink of love. And visualize this rays, golden pink, descending first into America. Visualize each American person being flooded by this golden and pink ray. And may the wisdom and love of God can direct the American people to do whatever is the best for America and the world. And I call these same blessings for all nations in this planet. And I know it's done and it's sustained Almighty oh, Yam, Almighty oh, Yam, Almighty oh, Yam. And now let us do the decrees together. Beloved, mighty Yam Presence and Great Divine Director, seize the possession of America, the government, and her people. Control her resources and direct her activities by thy almighty perfection. Envelop her in that invisible wall of light through which nothing can pass but the perfection of the ascended masters and keep it eternally sustained. O mighty Yam, O mighty Yam, O mighty Yam. Beloved mighty Yam Presence and German, great divine director, Cyclopia, in powers and powers of light, take command, hold dominion, and produce perfection in the 
2024 elections in America bring to victory only the candidate who can best serve the reality and who can do the best for America and the world. I know it's done and it's sustained. Almighty oh, I am, almighty oh, I am, almighty oh, I am. America is the heart of the world. Let us bless this heart and everything you be all right for all the nations. Now, let us visualize that we are immersed in the cosmic flame of cosmic Christ purity of Elohim Claire. And let us call beloved mighty and presence and beloved Elohim of purity. I demand and command the removal of all the limitations and problems from my word that have been the interference with my channel of boundless reply. Remove every focus of impurity in and around me right now, everywhere, forever, of my own free will. I take my stand for unconditional, invincible purity and obedience in this outer self. All unkindness, resentment, irritation, secret thoughts and feelings of impurity. I demand annihilate and prevent it. So the light of my higher mental body through this outer self holds the condition in which perfect balance and invincible purity forever manifest. Oh my Chayam, oh my Chayam, oh my Chayam. Dear heart, this decree is so important. It's so important that we purify ourselves because every time that we have a problem, it doesn't matter if it is in our financial or in our body or in our relationships, in our job, it doesn't matter. It's a focus of impurity. And if we we purify that focus so the problem is dissolved with it. So let's continue in the purification and just turn uh, out this uh, cosmic flame of cosmic purity into a violet flame and feel that you are within this flame. And let us call mighty and presence, great host of ascended master, great angelic host, great cosmic beings, and all who govern these systems of words in the cosmic activity of the all-seeing eye of God. Watch, watch, watch me every second each day and see that I do not think, say, feel, hear, or experience anything but your almighty victory and perfection in all I do forever. Pour through me your violet consuming flame and the most powerful radiation of indestructible harmony to be the authority that controls all conditions in which I must move and see they affect me and my world only harmoniously right now, everywhere, forever. And I demand this manifest, manifest, manifest in all our victory, victory, victory attained right now. Oh, mighty I am, oh, mighty I am, oh, mighty I am. Victory for this planet. Beloved, mighty, victorious, I am presence, great central sun, Helios and Vesta. Elohim Hercules, the Elohim of purity, beloved Astraea, Archangel Michael, Ascended Master Hermodia, K17, Saint Germain, 
and your religions of light, cease holding active and transmute all sort forms of misqualified energy in and around me and in and around all mankind. Transmute, transmute, transmute them all. Replace them with ascended masters, substance, illumination, love, and constructive motives. Remove all discarnate entities out of the atmosphere of earth and into the temples of light and temples of learning. Seal each one in a violet um, Moti's cross of Saint Germain, withhold and withdraw all power from all destructive forces and from all individuals with, with destructive intent. Withhold and withdraw all power from all destructive forces and from all individuals with destructive intent. Withhold and withdraw all power from all destructive forces and from all individuals with destructive intent. Let the powers of light descend unto earth and take it full command. Let the powers of light descend unto earth and take it full command. Let the powers of light descend unto earth and take it full command. Cut the earth free, give her cosmic victory. Cut the earth free, give her cosmic victory. Cut the earth free, give her cosmic victory. Oh, mighty I am, oh, mighty I am, oh, mighty I am. And beloved you are saying that Master Presence that I am, beloved Mother Mary, Archangel Raphael, Lady Meta, empowering powers of healing, I am. Ascend that you master healing here, ascend that you master healing here, ascend that you master healing here. Command, command, command. So feel this presence healing you in this moment. Ascend that you master healing here, ascend that you master healing here, ascend that you master healing here. Come now from God's own hand. Ascend that you master healing here, ascend that you master healing here, ascend that you master healing here. Release it, release it, release it. Ascend that you master healing here, ascend that you master healing here, ascend that you master healing here. I am, I give all peace. Ascend that your master healing here, ascend that your master healing here, ascend that your master healing here, forevermore remain. Ascend that your master healing here, ascend that your master healing here, ascend that your master healing here, thy purity sustain. Ascend that your master healing here, ascend that your master healing here, ascend that your master healing here. All forces no control. Ascend that your master healing here, ascend that your master healing here, ascend that your master healing here. God's own, I am, take hold. Ascend that your master healing here, ascend that your master healing here, ascend that your master healing here. Perfection now compel. Ascend that your master healing here. Ascend that your master healing here. Ascend that your master healing here. I am and all is well. Ascend that your master healing here. Ascend that your master healing here. Ascend that your master healing here. Forgiveness all around. Ascend that your master healing here. Ascend that your master healing here. Ascend that your master healing here. I am. Let joy abound. Oh, mighty I am. Oh, mighty I am. Oh, mighty I am. And beloved, you are saying that your master presence that I am. Beloved Mother Mary and Archangel Raphael, Lady Meta, empowering powers of healing, flood your cosmic light substances through me. Intensify and increase it until it becomes visible to myself and all mankind. Project your cosmic light rays to heal, quiet, 
and strength and the light substance in the nerves of my physical body and of everyone on the planet, making me forget all fear and replace it by the cosmic flame of cosmic love, moving me forward in a pillar of cosmic light substance from your realm of light, so blazing. Human creation cannot longer exist anywhere. Almighty oh, I am, Almighty oh, I am, Almighty oh, I am. And beloved mighty and presence, beloved Jesus, mighty healers, and your mighty legions of light, seal me and all under this radiation and hold us in the ascension flame. I demand its magnetic power keep us all disconnected from the mass destruction of the outer world and from those who are yet unawakened to this beloved mighty and presence or those who were caught in the same consciousness of the sinister force. O oh, mighty I am, O oh, mighty I am, O oh, mighty I am. And now, just visualizing the holy planet flooded and enfolded by the flame of ascension. And may this wonderful flame together with the resurrection flame, raise all beings and forms within this planet in the perfection of their true light. And I know it's time and it's sustained. Almighty oh, I am, Almighty oh, I am, Almighty oh, I am. And now you are going to start our knowledge of the higher mental body. So uh, to build this presentation, I have used this material that is two theosophical books, Ancient Wisdom by Amy Besant, uh, Besant and uh, the book, a text, textbook of theosophy by Leadbeater. And they are the main books that are used for build, build, the building of this presentation. And also I have used uh, the volume two, seven, eight, and 10 from the Green Series or I Am Discourse. The books are from the Center Non Press. And just, uh, I don't know if everyone here uh, did <laughs> was present in attended the last classes and so just to start today we are going to talk about the higher mental body that is the vehicle that we use to act in the in these three uh, higher levels of the mental plane so the mental plane is here. So we have seven planes of nature and the mental plane is the fifth. If you count from the source of all then and is the 30. If you start counting from this physical level is here. And I just expand it here. The mental plane is also subdivided in several and seven subplanes, the four densest subplanes made the lower mental, and there we have the mental body or mind body, and we have talked about this body already, I think about three classes, uh, and uh, now we are going 
to study the higher mental level and there we have our higher mental body and we are going to start to understand it. I go to talk about the higher mental body and the causal body. Next class, I go to talk more specifically about the causal body, but we cannot talk about the higher mental body without uh, talking about the causal body because both uh, they stick together so to stay or walk together and we are going to understand why but today I go to focus on the higher mental body but also talk in the causal and next class we are going to talk uh, also about both of them but with the focus on the causal level. And to start it, I put this quote of our beloved silent watcher from the Ascended Master Light. Your higher mental body is a form just as tangible in its own octave as your flesh body is here and it stands between your presence in your human form. Your higher mental body is your discrimination, selective intelligence. It is through your higher mental body that the power of your presence answers your call. For your higher mental body knows the perfection which the presence is in your electronic level and knows your imperfections, your trials and your struggles in your personality. It knows exactly what to release at your call to give you the happiness, supply, the health that you require. So the higher mental body is uh, between the presence and our four lower bodies that is our personality. And to understand really the higher mental body, I think most students may know or think they understand it, but it's not so easy to understand it as you think. I think the more I, stud I study it, the more I know I do not know anything about it. But anyway, so uh, to understand the higher mental body, we needed to understand the concept of the human constitution. And to, uh, to understand this concept, we needed to understand the spark of divinity. And I wrote here, uh, human beings are essentially sparks of divine energy connected to a higher spiritual realm. This divine spark is called a monad, an atom of the immeasurable ocean of life, whose waters are the electronic substance of the universal consciousness, that conscience that governs the manifested universe. And I put here also a quote from the great divine director. He says, the light which is every moment beating your heart out of that great fire breath of God, the ocean, all this great ocean of life. It's the same in here, no? Came your individualization. The mighty and presence project your higher mental body than the way by you, which your human form came into being. Contemplate with me this mighty reality and no longer feel yourself separate from that great light which gives you life, that is your life, that is your intelligence and power. So to understand it, dear hearts, 
we needed to understand how uh, a life stream is created. And it's a very uh, abstract subject, and I do not know if you were go going to grasp everything in, in one day, but we are going to continue to talk about it in the next class, and also we are going to have also new classes of it in the next year. So I put it here, I try to create images. It's not so easy about abstract things, but I did my best. To interact with the physical world, the monad or the I am presence as a spiritual ego or individualized I am presence also uh, called a life stream creates uh, what uh, we call this electronic body that gives after it the form for the higher mental body. And any Besant wrote, uh, when the human monad comes forth from the logos, uh, the Logos is the universal I am presence or the universal consciousness. It is as though from the luminous ocean of Atma, primordial electronic substance, a tiny thread of light was separated off from the rest by a film of buddhic matter. And from this hang a spark which becomes enclosed in an egg-like casing of matter, which is the causal body, belonging to the formless levels of the mental plane. So understand it. When the human monad, the human monad is those bubbles that I put here in this uh, big ocean of life, you know, when they um, uh, needed to come forth, you know, it is like, so here I put a diagram here, you no know, the monad, the monad is uh, this atomic level or the electronic level of our beings, with the buddhic level together they form what we call monad and they abide the highest uh, levels of our beings so it is thou from the luminous ocean of atman the atomic plane is the dwelling place of the monads so from there a tiny thread of light was separated off from the rest by a film of buddhic matter. It's like this bubble, you know, that separates that thread or that special atom that you bring forth a new life stream. And from that, in these higher levels of our beings, just descend um, or hang a spark. So hang here a spark, which becomes enclosed in the matter of those three highest planes, superplanes of the mental level. And that matter that is uh, in the beginning like an egg um, of luminous substance just uh, enclose that um, uh, core or that tiny thread of light and we have from that the, the beginning of the causal body, and we are going to talk more about it. So, first we have this great ocean, no, which is the body of the universal consciousness. 
or the universal YM presence. And we think this ocean, we have trillions and trillions and trillions of uh, atoms. The atoms, their atoms, there is not what we call atoms here. It's similar to it, but in a very higher vibration and just more uh, finer than what we call atoms in this level. So there are in this ocean of life uh, that is this universal consciousness, trillions and trillions, boundless atoms, and there are those specials. The specials are those ones that has already this um, um, shell of buddhic matter around it. Those are the special ones that is signing to become life streams in a cosmic moment of the universe. And uh, um, so there are uh, in this ocean of uh, uh, electronic substance special uh, trillions of atoms, but some are special that you become life streams. And um, I put you here the causal body is what separates that special atom from this ocean of light. And when we have uh, the formation of our causal body, it's a very interesting subject and we are going to talk about it, how it forms exactly. Uh, and uh, uh, But when the causal body is formed, because before there is this core that is prepared to be a life stream, but it's still not really a life stream. But when comes the causal body, that is this matter of these three highest the sublime planes of the mental level, then this uh, spark, this diviner spark begin to feel I am an individualized being. Before that, when we have this buddhic shell, uh, we, we begin to have the sensation of the eye, but the eye is not clear. We feel all the time just one with the ocean, but when the causal body is formed, then we know it's still there when we are within it as the higher mental body that we are one with the ocean but we still feel uh, more we grasp more of what is an individualized because now we are in the ocean we are going to have <laughs> that cause of body that belongs just to us that i go to create and mold it according to my experience through the journal of life so the spark or projection of the I am presence from the electronic level. So first I have here the, the, the thread of light or that is the atom that is enfolded in the buddhic level and then that, that, is, uh, that core just project into the higher mental plane that three um, Layer mental plane, uh, array or a nucleus, an intelligent nucleus, and this intelligent nucleus is what gives origin to what we call ego with big cap or the thinker or higher intellect, also Christ self or for us higher mental body. And then I took here a uh, discourse of beloved Saint Germain 
uh, where the master that is the book two or the magic presence from the Saint Germain Press, and there he is explaining the twin rays or twin flames. But uh, it's the same explanation of the creation of a life stream. Um, so the master Saint Germain told or explains the almighty god flame breathing within itself within itself this almighty god flame in the ocean of creation that it is primordial ocean of life that in the core we have the universal i am presence projects two rays here we are just showing one because we are not talking about two being rays in this moment that you be maybe a subject for next year projects to rays into the great sea of pure electronic light of a level below it this intelligent light substance becomes the closing, the garment, as it were for these rays of the mighty and presence. Each ray has all the attributes of the Godhead within it, and no imperfection can ever enter into or resist, uh, register upon it. So in the electronic level, no discord, no uh, impurity can touch it. The individualized flame sends down into each ray a focal point or a spark. That focal point of a spark is here first that is enfolded by that buddhic uh, matter that shell of buddhic matter forming a heart center that we say that is the heart of the mighty young presence which gathers that electronic light substance creating what we call the electronic body Around this, it sends out rays of lesser intensity. So that rays that continue to be um, expanded into this higher mental level, no? Uh, that form an aura or force field, that force field here around that core. This force field is sometimes referred to as the causal body. And within it are deposits, the results of all constructed before to do enough and between each embodiment. All electronic substance that has been used constructively by the personal self through physical experience is also deposited within it. Through it, the God flame can send out into space a greater release of its own life wave. The causal body through the personality's journey in physical experience becomes an ever-expanding sun and a self-sustained outpouring of limitless ideas, love, wisdom, and power flowing out forever on rays of love to the rest of this universe. So through that causal body, individualized causal body, is the way, the instrument of that universal conscience to flow uh, its blessings to the universe. The sun is in reality a reservoir of constructively used energy and substance gathered through human experience and drawn upward. It becomes the glory of the God flame, which mark you never loses its individual identity in the universe. This is how 
the beautiful, joyous, perfect, limitless activity of life and creation goes on, ever expanding its perfection, because through this new course, uh, this universal presence just expanded its light, and as the core expanded, that core can just create a new universe that you are going to be connected to this source uh, that, gave, uh, that gives um, its light. So just to understand, the master tell us the same thing that you will be reading in the Theosophical books. The Theos that Theosophical books uh, that I put here, they were, uh, were written um, around the beginning of the 20th century, 1910 about, and this dictation of beloved Saint Germain was in the 30s. But we see that is the same thing. So we have that uh, first core, know that is our electronic um, um, body, and from that body, uh, the same, a projection, a uh, spark that gives birth to the higher mental body, and uh, with its birth, or, or its birth is just possible because this higher mental body is closed uh, by the matter of that mental level that separates that special atom as a unity. Of course, it's swimming in that ocean of light, but in that moment that creates that causal body, it goes through the door of life and you construct that unity of its own causal body through uh, its experience through life. So it's the same thing that we have in both uh, dictations of the Master and also what was told in Theosophical books a few years before. And so we needed to understand very well this relationship of our higher mental body and our causal body. They, they, are very, uh, they work very close with one of each other. Uh, the relationship between the higher mental body and the causal body is complex and dynamic. While the causal body is rooted in the past and influenced by karma, it's because it's rooted in the past. Because here you see, even beloved Saint Germain gathered through human experience. So the causal body is built by the action, actions of the thinker that is the higher mental body through embodiments. And through embodiments that a uh, higher mental body builds the causal body. So what you, we have in the causal body is uh, the storage of our past experience. Uh, while the causal body is rooted in the past and influenced by karma, the higher mental body can transcend these limitations because the higher mental body is the intelligence projected there from the electronic body. By developing higher consciousness and understanding the karmic law, individuals can influence their causal body and create a more positive and enlightening experience. To illustrate this relationship more concretely, I put here an example. Imagine your higher mental body as a garden and your causal body as the garden. So the garden, that is your higher intellect, or this God principle working through this physical level, your higher mental body, can tend the guard, that is your causal body, co cultivating positive qualities, removing weeds, that, is, that means the negative karmic imprints, 
and nurturing the seeds of future experience. By understanding the nature of karma and applying spiritual principles, the gardener, the higher mental body, can transform the garden from a barren wasteland into a beautiful, glorious, glorious oasis. So, the higher uh, intellect that we say that is the higher mental body is the projection of the consciousness, uh, that first consciousness in those levels of the higher mental uh, plan. And around it we have the causal body, but the causal body is the storage and the core is that presence in action in this lower plane is that presence that is the higher mental body that incarnates and goes through life construct this garden those beautiful causal bodies of the ascended beings of course we have as we build uh, our causal bodies around the higher mental body it reflects here in the level of the electronic body building there is still more beautiful colors. So uh, we just need to understand that this I am presence has a triple <laughs> uh, aspect. So it has the spirit that is uh, the core of our beings, which is our electronic body. It has intuition, that is this aspect that operates in a more set intuitive realm, in theosophy they call it the Buddhic principle. But in the Ascended Master teaching, this vehicle, this Buddhic vehicle is not coated in the dictations, uh, they simply, because you see this buddhic and atomic principle, they work together as father and mother. When we say God, father and mother, so they are always together. So in the Ascended Master teachings, we merge that thing and just call it electronic body and we build that uh, um, causal body around it of the electronic body that in fact is being worked by the higher mental body. So in Theosophica they call this second principle as a buddhic principle and for us is what we call the causal body because uh, the Ascended Masters in their dictation just merged these two principles, Buddhic and Atomic, in one and call it electronic body. And then we have intelligence. And this aspect functions in the higher level of the mental, allowing us our thoughts and reasoning. In Theosophical teachings, now they call it causal body. But there are lots of texts, and also I think uh, in one text we read that uh, that principle is the causal body, in another they call it also the higher mental body, and sometimes they say the causal body is the garment of the ego, that is the higher mental body. So they make a little different, so I like the Ascended Master teachings that make it uh, simpler. And so they call just electronic body, causal body, and this intelligence principle as the real man, the Christ self, or I like to say higher mental body. And to understand this, uh, the work of this higher mental body, we need really to emphasize here in our hands that our higher mental body is like a city. It contains all the potential 
for growth and development, just as the seed contains a tree. The tree is inside the seed, and the seed is planted in the soil of human life, where it can grow and develop with the help of the experience and lessons in this uh, outer world. The journey of the thinker. The thinker's journey involves taking on different bodies, so the higher mental body evolves, uh, no, I think it's better word there, uh, taking this lower mental body that we call simply uh, mental body, then the astral body, then the etheric and the physical. The etheric and the physical works together in the physical plane. So it just goes to the lower before or the realm uh, below the higher mate. So the lower mate and it gathers substance of that level, inferior level, and form from it the mind body or the mental body and from that we start what we call our personality that is built up of the lower mental, mental body, astral that is what we call emotional, etheric and physical. And um, these bodies, the, these three higher bodies, that is the higher mental, causal body, and the electronic body are eternal, but the personality is temporary. <clears throat> it, uh, uh, they are just uh, um, the garments, no, this four lower garments are just what the thinker or what the higher mental body wears during one incarnation. As the higher mental body progresses, it learns and grows, gathering the experience and storing those experiences within itself in its own causal body. That fourth field that the beloved Saint Germain uh, explained in that dictation, no? and store there uh, the experience, the results of one life and then another life building uh, the colors or the shape of the causal body. This experience shape the thinker's future lives. And it's good to, to understand this grow and development because uh, the thinker is in the beginning like a baby. Of course, it, it is a divine and being in its own level but it's not in this lower level. In this lower level, it starts like a baby with little consciousness because it can work in the lower levels through the materials there. And in the beginning, the bodies, the lower bodies are not really good material for this thinker to act. So it cannot do too much in the beginning of our journey through lives. So sometimes just wait, putting a little bit of itself in the heart just to hold the body, but it cannot communicate with these lower levels. Uh, the development of the higher mental body of our life streams is very slowly and gradual uh, through many lifetimes. The higher mental body's journey is a continuous development. It's a journey towards self-realization self where it becomes more aware of its true nature and its connection to the divine. Through this journey, through incarnations, the higher mental body gradually sheds its limitations and it becomes more aligned with its higher self or its I am presence, being so mastering substance, life, and energy in the lowest levels 
and bring forth that perfection from the cosmic and divine level to the lower levels of manifestations. Let Peter wrote, this development of the ego is the object of the holy process of materialization. He assumes those veils of matter precisely because through so then he is able to receive vibrations to which he can respond, so that his latent faculties may thereby be unfolded. So why the higher mental body descends to this lower and denser garments because it's the only way that he can unfold his latent faculties. He is divine, but divine in this higher level. And to be divine in the lower levels, he needs to come here and master the energy, substance, and vibrations of those plants. Thou man descended from on higher into these lower worlds. It is only through that descent that our full cognizance, uh, cognizance of the higher worlds is developed in him. So that he is the real fall. No, because you know, in our, I put, when I created this image, you know, I put it it like an angel because we are angels in our electronic level. We are real angels and the angels descend to this world of imperfection. That is the fall of the angels that sometimes emits appear like the fallen angels. But it's just because those angels need to descend and of course in these dense bodies that they are not used to it and it takes long. There, it needs lives and lives, thousands of embodiments until that angelic being through the higher principle or uh, not the higher principle, but the higher mental uh, body can master the conditions uh, in these four lower um, levels uh, of our manifestation. Full consciousness in any given world involves the power to perceive and respond to all the undulations of that world. Therefore, the ordinary man has not yet perfect conscience at any level, not even in this physical world which he thinks he knows. That is really so, because you see many beings, human beings, that we can talk to them and they uh, they think they know so much, you know that they are in perfect control. But you know, those human beings are still governed by discordant conditions. So every time they are discordant, in that moment, they are just being governed by astral entities. They do not have dominion to the physical level and also not of the emotional level or the mental level. So they think they know something, but in the end, they do not know anything. So it's a process. And I tell you, the more, the more I know, the more, the more I know that I don't know anything because we are just child, uh, children. <laughs> when we compare ourselves to great beings on the light, we are just children and we are discovering things and we need to keep this um, humble feeling, otherwise we get lost in the path. So it's possible for him to unfold his percipience, perception in all these words and 
yes, it, it can have that mastery of this word and it means by uh, and it is by means of such developed consciousness that we observe all these facts which i am now describing so i think he continues the causal body is the permanent vehicle of the ego so here even in theosophic we have these two things the causal body but the ego, that is the higher mental body, is in the core of it, in the higher mental world. It consists of matter of the first, second, and third subdivisions of that world. In ordinary people, it is not yet fully active, only that matter which belongs to the third subdivision being vivified. And I go to talk more about it in the next classes because you see, uh, we have the mental level or the mental plan, seven subdivisions, the first three uh, ones or the highest three uh, form this higher mental world. And, uh, but in, in that subdivision, so the third is denser than the first no the second second is denser than the first and the third is denser than the second and the first and of course to be a human being you are a life stream but depending on of your uh, level of consciousness your causal body uh, is uh, the dwelling place of your causal body is uh, or in this third level, the second level, or in the first level. The third is the dense one, so to be on a live stream we need a causal body, and a causal body of an average person that we have uh, thousands and thousands or billions are in that level of the third level because there is more it's uh, denser, a little denser than the other levels. And as we evolve with intellectual powers first, we become there, we go there in the second level. So uh, that is this uh, ascent, ascension of your causal body to a, a sub-level uh, over. Uh, in the second, and then the ascended master and the, uh, their advanced chillers are in the first level, so their causal bodies um, dwell in this first level. We are going to talk more about it next class. So, as the ego uh, unfolds his latent possibilities through the long course of his evolution, the higher matter is gradually brought into action, matter from those first and second subplanes of the mental plane. But it is only in the perfect man who we call the adept and for us the ascended master that it is developed to its fullest extent. So, uh, as we become more evolved, more enlightened, so there is this enlightenment of our causal bodies, and with it, um, it's vivified this matter or these um, materials that we have in this second and first level of the mental plane. And just finish it for today, I go to finish a little bit, come back because we talk about the higher mental body and the causal body. So just um, make sure that you, we, you have this concept that the higher mental body is the gardening and the causal body is the garden and the higher mental body is a projection of the I am presence in the electronic lab. I just want that you keep it in your head for this class and if you understand it, 
I am very happy. And to finish, we are going to finish with this dictation um, that is from David Lloyd uh, in the volume 10 of the Ascended Master Discourse. He told us, the point I want you to grasp is that your presence of life, your higher mental body, is the determining factor in what takes place in your life and what can be done for you. There is no other authority. Now then, your higher mental body receives that authority from the presence. You see, he's telling the same thing. There is no other authority in our lives but the higher mental body, but the higher mental body is the projection of the presence in a lower level. Now follow this closely. Your higher mental body, now remember, your higher mental body is a form of blazing light, wholly perfect, because it's the projection of that divine self. Your higher mental body goes to the presence notes pointing to the chart the higher mental body is between and goes to the electronic body to that monad to that uh is sparking in a level above <clears throat> and um notes as your higher mental body rests uh, between your human form in your electronic body, your presence, when it wishes to have directions for you uh, from the authority for you in the human octave, the higher mental body ascends to the presence, it stands and talks to the presence the same as I would stand and talk to you, or the messengers would talk with you. So the higher mental body is the bridge, so it knows uh, the perfection of the presence and our imperfection, and when it needs direction, it goes there in the electronic level and um, from there receive directions to act in this outer plane. Therefore, try to see how practical all of this is. This point has never been explained in the work, but if you will understand it is and realize your higher mental body is the spoken man, the bridge, the messenger, or is the releaser of power and energy to you, but it never acts of its own self. It acts through the direction of the presence, ascend into that octave of the presence. That is why this presence never knows one single thing about what is to be done down here, about your troubles and all the conditions, because the higher mental body never refers to the presence in a discord down here, but it says to the presence. Now, what can be done for these conditions that are required? It's a condition of the activity of energy governed by the vibratory action set up, but it neither refers to your personality or to the existing conditions which it wishes to have rem remedied. It is a marvelous activity of life, which for the first time, as far as I know, has ever been attempted to be explained. As you understand that, you will see how the authority of your higher mental body always comes from the presence of life. And in all requirements in the human octave, it knows exactly what is to be done and from the presence takes the authority for what takes place. And now, in the creation and purifying of the physical body, this is the continuation of this point I want you to grasp, if you will. 
Mankind have said those individuals have been wretched. Why cannot we? That question has troubled many students. Again, I say to you, your presence is the only authority. Now, when your higher mental body sends a call for a service to be handled by us, it is the authority, and we answer without question. So, when we are praying, we are when we are calling for the presence of the Ascended Master, sometimes it's so deep, it's so powerful that the higher mental body expands its light and gives a command. And when it gives that command, that command is because of the will of the present acts through that higher mental body, expand that light. In that moment, the ascended master bow to it and make the miracles happen in our lives. So, in conclusion, today I just want that you understand that the I Am Presence is an angelic being, a spark that does not respond to denser vibrations of the lower plans of its abode. It stays there in the electronic level, in the cosmic level. However, a small part of itself, a, a ray of light descends to a lower plane and forms the higher mental body. And that higher mental body is what is the great messenger or the bridge that connects the personality made of the four lower bodies that we have with its individuality. I don't know if you remember the individuality is that higher mental level in connection with the, the causal body and the electronic body in the ascended master teachings. Know that forms that triangle. And the personality is the quaternary and the individuality is the triangle. So that I would like that you grasp it. The higher mental body is that being that really is that presence working in this outer activity. It incarnates in our lower garments, but it cannot uh, master the energy in the beginning. It takes a long time through many, many lives, thousands of lives sometimes, to acquire the perfect dominion of the matter of these uh, lower levels. Know that it is the mental, astral, and physical planes. And so, and is the higher mental body because the presence stays always there. But through the higher mental body carrying the presence above, it can work in these lower levels. The higher mental body is the presence in a lower level, densified a little bit, and it knows our problems, our trials, our difficulties. It doesn't accept it, but it knows it, and it knows the perfection that we need to become our perfection in the cosmic life that we needed to achieve and is that being or that is the same presence in a lower level that manage all conditions, all the experience so that we can learn and achieve that perfection of the presence and act as God in action in its creation in its universe. So for today, I go to uh, stop here and let us seal it uh, with the great invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men, let light descend on earth. 
from the point of love within the heart of God. Let love stream forth into the hearts of men, may Christ return to earth. From the center of where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the Master know and serves. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where human creation dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am. Now, let us take the water and finish the call for the lecture of life. Beloved I am present, Saint Germain, Brotherhood of the Royal Teton Retreat, Lords of the Elements, Empowering Powers of Light, please charge, charge, and charge this mineral water with the blessings from the Ascended Master's Octave of Light, and put it here all the substances you need to restore the beauty, youth, health, vitality, and perfection of the ascended masters in our physical bodies. Transmute this water into the elixir of life. Transmute this water into the elixir of life. Transmute this water into the elixir of life. We are so thankful. By the light of God that never fails, I command and demand, and it's done right now. Oh, mighty I am, oh, mighty I am, oh, mighty I am. So just visualizing your cat as a grail filled with this elixir of life, charged with whatever you need to manifest your perfection, your healing, to overcome all financials, lack to manifest harmony in your relationships, in your family, in your world. And let's drink it together. And it's done. Now, just um, place your attention upon your presence within your heart and pour your love upon it. Pour your love upon all the ascended masters, archangels, Elohim, cosmic beings of light, and all who have assisted us in our calls and service. Pour your love upon all life within this planet and earth itself. May this mantle of love seal everything and everyone, blessing our life on this planet. May this love alone rule us all today and forever. I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am. I am one with my source of life, the cosmic light, God Almighty, fulfill and all this call I am. Oh, mighty I am, oh, mighty I am, oh, mighty I am. And beloved, mighty and presence, are saying that your master is Elohim, your angels, our higher mental bodies and cosmic beings of light. We sincerely send to you our love and gratitude for all the blessings received and for all those yet to come. Take our decrees and multiply them thousands of times more each day and hour. Make them ever increasing in their power until we have the momentum of light necessary to have them visibly manifested in our hands and use for our blessings and the blessings of mankind and our life on earth. What we have called during our session for ourselves we also call for all human beings, and you only love your wisdom and power of God. Lift us up in the eternal victory of your ascension. We are eternally grateful. I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am. I am one with my source of life, the cosmic light, God the Almighty, fulfill and all this call I am. I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am. 
with do, which is true, we accept, which is true, we manifest it, we manifest it, we manifest it right now by the power of a thousand suns and the light of God that never fails. I command, I demand, and it's done. Oh, mighty I am, oh, mighty I am, oh, mighty I am. And now just say your love and gratitude to the Royal Teton Retreat. And let us ask them to bring us the illumination of our minds so we can grasp these concepts that we are studying. Let's send it then our gratitude for being alive and conscious of our I am presence and consciousness and conscious of their blessings in our lives. Let's send out also our love to our beloved mighty young presence, which is one with this universal I am presence. We need to evolve. And what means evolving? Is being conscious of this presence through our personalities, being humble, and calling forth this divine intelligence to govern these instruments and this outer activity. Let us give power to that presence and trust that is only that power in intelligence acting in our words. And with this trust, let us finish our service with the closing blessing. Beloved, mighty and presence here, there, and everywhere, we love you, bless, and thank you forever, forever and beyond, for I am in you and you are in me. We are one. We are one. We are one. On this journey through eternity, almighty I am. Oh, mighty I am, oh, mighty I am. And that is so important to grasp. Even that we are studying these levels, in fact, there is only one presence, power, and intelligence acting through all life. When we grasp it, we become in fullness, we become ascended. If we are not yet ascended, we have not grasped it in the fullness of it, what it is. So thank you, dear hearts. Thank you for being here with me. I hope you enjoy this class, this service and that you hold your harmony during the weekend and this week, just pouring blessings to everyone and um, everything in your way. Next class, we are going to discuss about the causal body. Of course, we are going to continue with these two bodies because we cannot talk about the causal without explaining or talking uh, about the higher mental body and also uh, in the opposite way. You cannot talk about the higher mental body without coaching <laughs> the causal body. So we are going to continue to understand it next um, week and I hope to see you there. So have a wonderful weekend and the week. Hold your harmony. Hold your harmony because it's so important. That wonderful presence in our cosmic level can just work through us when we are harmonious. 
if you lose the harmony we just start everything and the connection the present is there but it cannot work because it cannot flow because we block it by the discordant feeling so hold your harmony please hold the harmony hold the harmony hold the harmony and I hope to meet you in perfect harmony in the next week. I love you and I see you. Bye.